It is getting more difficult to fill positions for workers who care for the state's most vulnerable residents. 22 News State House reporter Tiffany Chan is live in Boston to explain why companies are having a tough time holding on to these workers. Human service providers are struggling to attract and retain workers because the salaries are too low. Human service workers look after those who can't take care of themselves, from the elderly and disabled to children with special needs. The University of Massachusetts Donahue Institute released a new report that found private companies are having a tough time holding on to these employees. You know, it's a double-edged sword for them because not only do we have fewer workers, um, but the demand because the elderly population is growing. Private organizations carry out social service work on behalf of the state, all paid for with taxpayer dollars. The study found that human service workers are leaving the private sector for state government jobs that come with bigger salaries and a pension. As a result, companies hire workers from other countries. One provider told 22 News it's frustrating because they spend the time and money training young workers only to have them leave months later. We'll train them in the private sector in um, same job, same worker, same type of work uh, in the uh, state sector, particularly DCF, might pay ten or fifteen thousand dollars more for the same job. Human service providers are advocating for more state funding so they can offer competitive salaries to attract workers. Providers are asking the state to attract more young people to the human service field by offering student loan forgiveness for social workers. Live at the State House in Boston, Tiffany Chan for 22 News.